Hey there, terrific teachers and techies out there. Today I want to talk to you about a little simple way you can organize your Google Classroom, especially in these days of e-learning where you may be using it a little more than you have in the past. And it is just creating a topic like I have down here called archive. It doesn't have to be called archive. You can call it uh, past work or completed work, whatever it might be. And really it's just a way that when you are adding material or assignments or anything into your specific topics of your Google Classroom, they can start to fill up and more and more will sort of start uh, populating in there. But once you've moved on from a topic or completed some work, you might want to move that down into this archive section. So you might want to do that so you can reference it later on, or maybe just a student has to go back and look at a particular uh, slide deck you have or a video or just review an assignment. Because if you go in and start deleting assignments, unless you have them in another Google Classroom, you are in fact deleting them permanently. So I just want to show you a simple way you can start moving things down into this section here. So as you see, I have a few different uh, materials and assignments here. So I can go in into this uh, science topic, go in in the three dots and hit edit. And all I'm gonna simply do is move this topic from science into archive. Now probably good practice, you'll want to call this something else besides questions, something maybe specific to the, what the science questions are for, or a particular unit, because once you start putting things into your archive, uh, you will obviously start having more and more materials in there, so you want to be able to distinguish those. So again, I can go to another topic, click this one here, edit, and I'm just going to change that topic from language arts to archive, and save that there. So again, as you start using your Google Classroom and various topics become populated, you might just want to use this archive idea to organize your Google Classroom. So hopefully that helps and good luck in continuing on in your e-learning journey.